Hello everyone, Castor here with another Streamlabs chatbot video. Today I will walk you through how to sync your data, such as commands, quotes, song list, playlists, and queue, to the Streamlabs donation page. So you can show them off to your viewers through a simple command with a direct link without the use of an external cloud services. In order to achieve this, we have to do two things. The first is we have to go to connections, go to Streamlabs and make sure this is connected and that it's connected using a Twitch streamer account. If you aren't connected, generate a token, log in with your Twitch account, not your Twitch bot account, it, your Twitch streamer account, approve the connection and connect. We don't have to sync just yet. Before we sync, we have to go to settings, the general tab, scroll down a bit until you see show chatbot tab on donation page then simply check or uncheck the ones you want to sync so say let's say i want to sync all of them the song list playlist and queue will automatically sync every 2.5 minutes when there's a change the commands and quotes will only sync when you press sync in the streamlabs connection window so we're going to go there right now so connections streamlabs and now we press sync because now we have all the bot what we want to sync. Wait a few seconds, and then there's gonna be a box telling us that commands and quotes are synced. When we've done that, we can open our browser, go to our donation page, and we'll have a chatbot tab where we can see commands, quotes, song list, playlist, and queue. The commands will only show the enabled commands. So if you have commands that are disabled, they will not show up. If you have some built-in functionality like song requests that's disabled, that won't show up. If it's enabled, it will show up. Same for queue and giveaways, etc. In the commands tab, you can also see that some of the parameters are replaced. For example, my test command here got a custom file reading, which means it's reading a file from my computer, but for security reasons, it's not showing what file path it's using in case it involves my real name or something I don't want the stream to know about. Since this isn't very telling, custom file reading doesn't tell you much what the command does. You can actually put in your own personal description of the command. How you do that would be, you go through your chatbot, you go to the commands tab, I'm gonna edit the test command, so search for test here, and I edit it. This is a read random line from a text file containing which emotes. I'm just gonna move this one down one line. And on the first line, I'm gonna put dollar sign D E S C, short for description, open in parentheses, and then the description I want. I want this to show up in the list as returns a random emote. And then I close the parentheses. And that's it. This first line won't show up in chat. This will only be shown in the commands list. If I submit this, I can go to the console, I can do exclamation mark test, and it will give me a random emote. And if I go to connections, streamlabs, and sync this again, there we go. Then I go back to my commands list, and I haven't refreshed yet, it still says custom file reading, but if I refresh this page now, and we scroll down to find the test again, it's going to say returns a random emote. And then of course, up top we have quotes. We got song list, playlist, and the queue from the bot. That's it. Thanks for watching.